Hey, what's up, everybody? The United States Mint has updated their 2021 product schedule with the August 19th release of the American Liberty 2021 High Relief Gold, the Bucking Horse, the American Liberty, the Bucking Horse. They've added the mintage limit, the product limit, the household order limit. We're going to take a look at this. But before we do, I got to tell you, as far as what I think about this, as far as if I am going to purchase this, I am undecided. I am not sold on this coin. It's definitely not something that I would want to buy for my collection. The whole purpose of me, if I was to buy this, would be 100% if my local coin shop would want this. If it's something that they would have a bounty on and I could buy it, sell it, flip it real quick, make a, a couple bucks on it, then I would get in line, be on the United States Mint website at noon Eastern Standard Time on August the 19th, 2021. This is not something that I would want to add to my collection. However, is this something that we're going to be able to, is this something that's going to sell out? First and foremost, the first question is, will this be a sellout? Will this be an instant hit, an instant flip? Is this something that is going to sell out? The mintage, the product limit, the mintage limit is pretty attractive. This is going to be a high premium. I can't stress that enough. This is going to be a ultra high premium piece. I think the mint is learning though, because typically, I mean, the mint, the United States mint likes to put like 50,000 on their gold coins on their, the, I believe the 2017 American Liberty gold coin had a mintage of 100,000 and that one is still available. This one here, 12,500. I think the mintage is pretty attractive. Is this going to be a sellout? I am going to have to, I'm going to have to think about that. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to commit to it's going to be a sellout or it's not going to be sellout or it's not going to be a sellout at this very moment. I think this thing has potential. Now, I am just not a fan of this design. Number one, I think the eagle on this coin is ugly. Now, on the plus side, it is a coin. It's not a metal. That is a plus. I think this eagle, to be honest, is pretty hideous. I think it's hideous. I think it's ugly. I do not like this eagle. And I think that is one of the biggest things when a lot of people buy coins like this. A lot of people like to buy them for the eagle. And I think this eagle is ugly. It is super ugly. It is so ugly. Now, the question is, now I think the, the obverse of this coin looks good. But how many people want to buy a coin like this with a horse on it? I'm not uh, entirely sure. I, what I would like to hear is your comments, your feedback in the comment section below. Is this something you would be on board with buying? Is this something you would buy as a collector? Is this something you would buy because you want to flip? I definitely want to hear your thoughts, your opinions. Do you think this is going to be a sellout? For me, I'm going to have to look around. I want to find out if a lot of the big online dealers are going to be offering bounties for this coin. That's going to be one sure sign right there is if the dealers start sending out emails saying they're going to offer you, you know, a couple hundred dollars. I think the popular thing with the dealers is they offer you a hundred dollars, but you got to ship it to them. If I am going to uh, wake up and be on my computer at noon Eastern Standard Time, it's going to have to be for a little bit more than a hundred dollars in my opinion. Uh, so, but I, the first thing I would do is call my local coin shop. Unfortunately, my local coin shop is closed because they were flood 
they had a flooding, so there's restoration work going on. So I can't call them and ask them what they think about this. But the good thing is this doesn't go on sale till August the 19th. So we have a few weeks before this goes on sale. But as for me, you know, if it's something that I'm really excited about, you know it. There's a lot of things. There's one item that's going to be going on sale the very next release after this one that I'm still waiting on the details for. And pending the mintage limit, I'm going to be super excited for that one. But for, as far as this one is concerned, I am just not feeling it at the moment just for me. Now, I do think that that is an attractive mintage and the possibility of this selling out is pretty good. The problem is this is going to be one high, high premium. I mean, if we look at it, if we go and look at the American Gold Eagle proof one ounce coin, and we can somehow project what the price of this is going to be. So right now, the one ounce American Gold Eagle, if on sale today, would be $2,700. And I think we can easily, very easily add $300 onto this price tag, looking at that American Liberty, possibly a little bit more. So I'm thinking that American Liberty, the bucking horse, is going to be somewhere either at $3,000 or possibly over $3,000. And I'm not sure that that price tag, especially something that I don't want for myself, something that I don't want to collect, something that's definitely not a stacking piece, something that's definitely not a preserving your wealth piece. I'm just not sure if that's a gamble that I'm willing to take me personally, I'm not, I can't speak for everybody, but me personally, um, but I do need to make some phone calls, get a hold of my local coin shop. Hopefully they're back open before uh, this goes on sale. I can find out if this is something that they're going to want. This could be one of those those items that is extremely hot at first. I do believe in my opinion that even if this is hot at first, I believe this is something that over time is going to really cool down and something that is not going to maintain its premium over time. Although, that is my opinion and I could be 100% wrong. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe. Definitely give me your thoughts down below. And I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks, everyone.